What's up everyone? Today we're going to look at four boxes I found with all of these packs for a total of $87 off. We have arguably the three best sets to have come out in the last few years and I got them all for a huge discount. I'll quickly run through where I found each of them, how much they normally go for, how much I got it for, and then I'll take you through the hits I pulled out of each of them. The first box we're going to get into today is one that I actually sniped off of Walmart.com. They had these Regilecki V Crown Zenith boxes listed at $36, which is insane. You should never buy these for $36. There's only four packs in them, so don't get them for $36. But they had them marked down to 15 bucks, which is really good. That's a huge markdown. This is actually a really good box for $15. Anytime you can get Crown Zenith for under $5 a pack, you should definitely do that. I highly recommend it. Uh, $15 for four packs gets you these four packs for $3.75 each, which is really good. We got a Zorora. There was a really large reprint of this not that long ago, so it has been pretty easy to find it under MSRP, which is great. It really, I don't think it will be long. Once, once it's all out of stores, it's going to go up in price significantly. We got the reverse Mewtwo. That's nice. Hey, yes, dude, let's go. We got the secret Pikachu. This is such a beautiful card. Oh my God, I love this. If you're just starting out, this set is the perfect set to really start dumping money into. Even if you're not going to invest and sell it later, it's, it's honestly probably the best hit rate that you're gonna find. It's just, oh my God, look at that, the Oricorio, just like that. Very nice. It's the best hit rate you're gonna find in Sword and Shield for sure. And also the you know the the value of the cards are gonna it's they're holding on very well, especially for the size of the reprint that it got. So it's only gonna go up once they're not really in stores anymore. And we got a Lux Ray. This next box is not going to be popular by any means, but it can certainly be a worthy pickup if you can get it on sale which shouldn't be that hard because it's been out for like five minutes and it's been on sale for like half of that already. Okay, so hear me out. They're normally listed at $22, which is not a good price. So if they aren't already down to $15 while you're watching this, give it a couple days and they will probably go down. If you do find these on sale for $15 a pack or a box, that gets you three or four packs for $3.75 each which uh, again, uh, that's a good price for really any, any set. And um, you know, there's some really great, great cards in these, just not in that pack. But there could be in some of these. The Charizard, if you can pull that out of here. I know a lot of people aren't really a big fan of some of these Sword and Shield sets, um, but you know, the Charizard in this Obsidian Flames is outstanding. I think it's such a beautiful card. We got the Reverum EX. I have four of these now, this is insane. Uh, I haven't pulled the Charizard, which is also insane, but this is sick. I'm hyped. Wow. Awesome, dude. Let's go. I'm not a snob. I, anytime I can get a, a secret illustration rare, I'm, I'm pumped. I, I don't care what it is. That is certainly far from my favorite one, but it's, it's cool. The, the, everything about it is cool. I just like it. So, uh, I'm hyped. This set, we're looking for the sleepy riot you. That's so sick. This is actually one of the better cards in this set. That's awesome. And a Copper Raja, double banger. Let's go, baby. Those were not the cards that we were looking for out of that set. The Iono, the Magikarp, those are the, the big, the top dogs in that set. But the Sleepy Raichu is an awesome card. I did not have that before, so I'm really pumped. This Astral Radiant set, on the other hand, there's a ton of cards in here that I didn't even know were belong to this set. And they're really sick. I'll put them up on the screen here. We got a Glaceon. Merp. This next box I got is the most outrageous TikTok deal that I got throughout the entire ordeal. 151 UPCs MSRP for like 100 to 120 dollars. More recently, they've been easy enough to get between like 85 and 90 dollars. In another one of these discount videos, I was able to get one down to 73 dollars, which I thought was just incredible. This one I was able to get for 56 dollars. That's just insane. I cannot overstate how psyched I was to get 50, $56 for this. It's just out of control. The promos alone are going for $20 for the set of three of them. 
So if you knock that off the price, that gets you 16 packs for a total of $36, which is just out of control. Onyx, Dragonite Reverse, very good. And the Venusaur EX, let's go. All right, first pack, first hit. Fire. 16 packs for 36 bucks is $2.25 per pack. So that's, and you know, you ne you're never gonna beat that. I don't think we'll ever see that again. Not for this set. These, these packs are going for like $5 each minimum, no matter where you're looking. So it's really great to find it for a deal like this. We got a reverse dugong, a shelter, and a Marowak. If I can get even just one hit out of this thing, it will basically have paid for itself. Most of the secret illustration rares, have, if not all of them, are like $30 or more. So, I mean, with that Venusaur, the Venusaur is like five bucks, I think. All of the sets, all of the hits in this set are just really, really high priced. We got a Gyarados, we'll take it. That is a monstrous size if, if in being, if I can get a hit out of this, that's just not likely, unfortunately, with this set. I will say that, so I started off really, really hot with this set. It was out of control. I, I started off with like, three secret illustration rares, um, some full arts, some illustration, regular illustration rares. We got Eradicate, no duo, and a Moltres, and a Hollow Energy. And that was all within the first like 30 or 40 packs. My very, very first opening. Charizard, Zapdos, Erica, the works, it was insane. Uh, since then, it, it, it did, it dried out significantly. I got, <laughs> I went a long time without getting anything, but, we're back. Well, mate, we'll see. We're Rhyhorn, Magmar, Raichu. That we're we're back has has a has a big ol' asterisk next to it, based solely on on how this goes. I say we're back because my last opening, my last one of these uh, discount packs, I got an ETB for like thirty six dollars. It was a steal. I'm not gonna tell you what I got out of it, but based on that, we're back for sure. We got an Electrode, a Tauros, and an Aerodactyl. I was really looking forward to this, and I thought that it was gonna start off, you know, we got the Venusaur in the very first hit. I was like, all right, let's go. We're still back. Um, we're, we're dry now. We're, we're, getting, we're getting into Sahara level dryness. We got a Dragonair, a Poliwrath, and an Amistar. At the very least, I'm knocking off some of these uh, reverse hollows that I don't have, that I definitely need. They're hard to come by. I obviously, like many people, have still never seen the reverse uh, Metapod, which is apparently just impossible to get. Lapras, Omni, hey, we got a hit and I didn't have it, let's go. And a Charizard EX, all right. Double banger, baby. Okay, we could be back. We could be back, people. We could be back. Do you ever just feel like you're gonna get a god pack? I haven't gotten one, do you, but do you feel like you're gonna? Cause I kinda do. I kinda feel like between this, and I've got another UPC that I'm, that's coming for another video, but uh, between the two of them, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I can't say at all that I've been void of hits recently. I actually, the last the last discount video was, was really, really good for hits. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I highly recommend. It's like from start to finish. I just had a really great opening. But I feel like it's not done yet. I said I think we ain't done yet. Another Charizard, all right. Let's go, dude. This is sick. It would be so fire if the next Charizard was the secret illustration here. Although I will say I do already have that. So the only one out of the big three that I'm that I'm waiting on is the Venusaur. So I'm dying to get one of those. I'm really hoping that this is, today's the day. Today could be the day, right now. Nope, okay. That's okay, we've got five packs left. I, I'm still feeling lucky. We haven't really gotten anything big out of this yet. Um, no no good hits. And of all of the UPCs that I've gotten, I've, used, I've gotten at least an illustration, or secret illustration rare, or a gold card, so I'm, I'm Feeling like it's still coming. Doubt is creeping in though. It's creeping in and it's actually, it's taking over significantly. I'm having thoughts that is, this UPC was wrapped kind of funny. It was wrapped kind of funny and I'm wondering if it was kind of, 
If it was maybe a rewrap, man. I really hope not. We got a reverse Magikarp, a Gloom, and an Amistad. You know, it's not over. It's not over. We've got three packs left. We got some. We got a lot of opportunity here. Jeez, this is a nightmare. I don't like what I'm seeing already out of this from just from looking at the side. I try not to do that because I get myself down. I need a Giovanni's charisma too. Gengar, unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Sahara. It is dark and gloomy. It's a it's a terrible night in the Sahara. We don't like it. We don't want to be here anymore. We're waiting for the sun to come up. We're gonna roll up on an Oasis. And an Erica's Invitation! There it is! Oasis Saint. We're here, we got it. Let's go, dude. That's so sick. That's such a beautiful card. Oh, very nice. Wow. God, that saved me. That really, it was, it was dark. It was gloomy. The two Charizards was kind of weird. It's funny. It's, I don't know, I've never seen two Charizards come out of one box, but uh, we'll take it. I was worried that that was like, oh, this is your hit. You get two Charizards. Not the case. We got the secret illustration, Erica. We love that. And a Starmie. This next box needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Evolving Skies. This bad boy popped up on walmart.com for actually a little bit above MSRP, but still well below market price. Right now they're going for about $85 and they, they popped up on walmart.com for just 60 bucks. So I had, to ch I had to do it, I had to take a chance. These Sword and Shield ETBs only have eight packs in them. So a $60 ETB gets you eight packs, are you kidding me? Eight packs for uh, $7.50 each which is not that good. Um, well, I mean, I guess for this it is. So, so I did a little looking around before and uh, it's 10, they're, they're going for 10 to $12 a pack. So, hey, a Volcarona V, we'll take it. All right, 10 to $12 a pack for this kind of, that feels like a lot. Um, this set's not that old. It's, I, I don't really know exactly when it came out, but it's not that old. Uh, there's a lot of sets that are older that aren't 10 to 12 dollars a pack but but uh, Walmart does tend to stock these pretty ones every once in a while we get a dino and a Gorgeist for whatever reason they seem to have like a bunch of a bunch of these ETBs just stocked up and they find them every once in a while or something I don't know if they get them right from Pokemon or what the deal is but every once in a while you can you can stumble across them in the wild or you can see them on online oh no dude <laughs> we were oh are you serious that's such a tease wow okay okay that's a very nice card i love it i'm super happy with this that's awesome so if you don't, are new to pokemon or if you've been living under a rock forever that exact card in the alt art version is the most expensive card in modern Pokemon. So I, I was really feeling feeling lucky for a second there, Kareem. I haven't opened a lot of this, really barely any at all. And I have, but you know, like, I don't know, maybe 50 packs of it and I've gotten nothing. I've gotten absolutely nothing. So I would say that, you know, I might be due. I could be due here for a little nothing. I'm trying to talk myself into a hit here. I'm trying to talk myself into a nice alt art. There's actually a lot of alt arts in this set. They just seem to be impossible to get. I don't, I don't know if they only printed like 10 of each and they're all just gone now, but this is easily the most uh, hit or miss set in the, in the world. I got a strong feeling that VMAX Umbreon, the regular VMAX Umbreon, not the alt art, is probably going to be the only hit I get out of this thing. I've opened like two other ETBs and yet I, I think maybe one full art was like my best hit and it wasn't even like a good full art. I have Zorok. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I think it was the uh, Noivern full art, which is actually really sick and I really like that Pokemon. So I'm going to take it back. It was a cool full art. It just wasn't one that uh, you know, is gonna sell for anything. Not that I plan on selling it, but anyway, 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I really do. And I, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out this other video. Check out this other one right here. It was so sick. Real fun. Highly recommend. Otherwise, thank you and I'll see you later. Bye.